want to handle a couple things up front. Um, I was in Manhattan Beach this last weekend. I was there on, I think it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and it was a really interesting experience. A buddy of mine rented an incredible house right up there on the beach for the for the entire month. Uh, it's like forty-one thousand dollars, believe it or not, for the month. I would like that's a lot of money. Um, but what it allowed us to do was put us into well, more him than me. He just invited me down there for the weekend. Um, but it, it, it allowed us to get around some interesting people, some, some people that are definitely outside the environment that I play ball in. Um, and, and was, it was really interesting. So the first thing, and I talked about this quite a bit, and if you guys haven't watched some of my past videos on change your environment, change your life, I really would recommend that. We'll try to put a link in the description here below at some point so you can go back and watch that video if you're, if you're new in the last few weeks. I think that's a really impactful video, but it's a really cool situation with, um, the gentleman we got to meet who actually owned the house behind us, he actually was renting us the house uh, in front of us and he owned that kind of whole block. Sold his company for $84 million back in 2008. And I got to go out and have a couple beers with him and pick his brain. Just a super cool, super nice guy. Um, entrepreneur, you know, at heart, loves listening to different ideas, loves li listening to different startup things, um, invests in lots of different projects and what have you. And it was just interesting to hear this guy struggle through the early years uh, when he got into business as an entrepreneur. Started out as an attorney um, and then was over in Germany for actually a law event and was in a, in a bar, believe it or not, and was able to run into some guys that had this really cool idea in the travel space and uh, they wanted help on getting into and getting to America, US. And so um, this just kind of shows you how a closed mind could ruin a really good thing. So the gentleman took it back to his law firm, the, the owner of the law firm, or one of the main, main partners of the law firm. And this is back in like 98, okay, 98, 99 time. And the owner, when he brought the idea and said, hey, I got these guys, you know, we can maybe work with them, maybe work out some sort of deal with these guys. They are an internet kind of startup. This is what they're thinking about doing. And the guy was just like, eh, nope, not in my wheelhouse. Don't want to do it, right? So it was outside this guy's comfort zone of what he knew to be the norm for himself. And so this partner shut out the deal. He says, nope, not interested at all. This is not what I, the internet's not going anywhere. Again, this is back in 98, 99 and uh, not interested. So this guy sees an opportunity at hand and he says, look, I'm going to, I'm going to figure out how to work with these guys. because I believe in what they're doing. And so jumps in, in as a partner with them and helps fund them coming over to the U S and then starts up this entire travel business, online travel is like really one of the first um, user generated content travel sites. So like before, like, I think it's like TripAdvisor and a couple of those, they kind of dovetailed off of what these guys created. Nevertheless, the first, he's telling us the story of the first several years in the startup. And I, I'm telling you guys this because you know, for those of you guys that are new, or maybe some of you guys that have been in for even a year or two, when you like are wanting to quit or when you're wanting to give up, you don't know what's just around the corner. You don't know what a couple more years of grind is gonna get you. And I think it was a really good story for me to hear, not only as your guys' as coach, um, but me personal as an entrepreneur, um, to listen to these stories of successful people that made huge windfalls of cash or hit huge windfalls of money um, in this space of the internet and how quickly the tides can change um, and why giving up shouldn't be even in, in an option in your, uh, in your mind. Um, and, and I think too many of us, because the internet's moving so fast, because we see we're on Facebook, we see so many different opportunities coming our way, we can become very short-sighted on sticking through the grind of what you started. Nevertheless, they're living like like bachelors at this time. They're like, they're down to no money. Um, and he told me he went out and maxed his last credit card out on like a, a, a windsurfing, um, kite surfing board. And he was like, he always uses it. He, he looks at that kite surfing board he keeps it to this day as like that moment where he was like basically going broke. And uh, ended up like, things still didn't pick up, like had trouble paying off that credit card. In fact, I think he actually like, got char charged it off altogether charged off this credit card with amex for all this money that was they were living off of trying to get this thing going nevertheless they really started to pick up some some steam over the years um after those many years of hustle grind and and, and uh not making any money um to the point where then the traffic started to really increase on this project they're working on and then they started getting calls by some of the big boys in the business like Expedia.com and that that uh, a couple other ones as well. I can't remember all the names in that travel space, but they at that point they were like, no, we're not gonna sell, we're not gonna sell, we don't wanna sell. 
then as 2007, 2008 started to hit, um, one of the brothers who was part of this business said, I think the economy is going to take a major dip. This might be the time to, to make an exit. Nevertheless, called up one of those people that had been knocking on their doors, wanting to buy them out and was able to make a deal for about $84 million, which is pretty cool. Um, but, but what I learned by being in that environment was, man, there's a lot of people that make a lot of money. And I would, if I was you guys, I would try to seek out those people. Maybe I'm one of those, but maybe on, on, on one level for you guys. But I think there's people in your community, people, there's business owners that you're probably maybe not doing business with yet that could be ultimate connectors that you can learn from, be mentored from. Um, just, yeah, I mean, just be around them. However you can be around them. If you can do something for them um, a la carte or for free, where you're able to just get some of the wisdom and knowledge and network that they've built up, um, I would just highly recommend it because I think you're going to hear little things such as that story that can be a reminder that, you know, giving up or quitting or, or failure is really not an option for you guys. And you don't know when that windfall or that next big deal might come from. Um, so nevertheless, um, really good connections, really incredible network. I'll, I'll talk about it and I'm hoping to get his wife on. She doesn't know this yet, but I'm hoping to get his wife on um, an interview because she owns a pretty, pretty large website. Um, and I had a chance to talk with her at the beach and uh, she's very, very, very smart. Worked in Facebook for a long time and then now runs this pretty awesome site. And if I can get her on an interview, um, I will do my best to bring her into the group for you guys and, and be able to talk to her. Because it's a good, just another good person from an entrepreneurial standpoint that you can look at and go, man, I'm really not that far off with all these skills we have. Interesting thing was, as I spoke to her, she knows nothing about the things that we're doing. And so there were so many things that, you know, I think for her that she was like, oh my gosh, I could totally be doing that. And then likewise for me, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that existed. So don't discount the value of the education you're getting in, inside this training. Sometimes because we do things so kind of simple and stupid, the way we train it, where it's like, first you do this, then you do this, then you do this. Sometimes we discount these things as like not that valuable, but I'm literally talking to a probably an eight figure site that this gal has and like little basic things that we're doing as just back of hand knowledge from going through this training and understanding here's the stuff you do each and every time they're not paying any attention to doesn't mean they can't make money based on the model that they've put together but it just means like there's so much money out there in knowing all these different skill sets that we're picking up along the ways um, from being part of something like this so don't discount that guys i think that's really important so step uh, part one if you're new find someone not only myself for you guys but other people in your environment small business owners that maybe have stood the test of time that are making great money listen to other people that you know are in positions that you ultimately will aspire to be at from a business standpoint and start just getting in that groove of listening and, and hearing the struggles and the heart hardships that people have in business because i think too many of us just throw in the towel too easy or we make up a reason why we're going to switch gears uh, uh, to knee jerk like. So I want you guys to kind of take that to heart a little bit. Again, though, the environment is a huge thing that I can't stress enough. Sometimes it means just getting out of town. We were just in Vegas, obviously, for Reload. That was a great kind of mix up of environment to be in a totally new space, getting new ideas thrown at us. And that's why we do those types of things.